The Grappler Refresh Glitch is back in LEGO Fortnite. Now, the first thing that you need is something that will take up inventory spot, preferably, obviously, something that stacks. So I'm gonna take 50 wood. You guys can do this with anything in the game. So if you guys are out mining granite, that will work. If you're out mining sapphire, ruby, blast core, anything that you're doing, as long as it stacks up to 30 to 50, you guys are able to do this glitch to refresh your grapplers every single time. Now, next up, what you're gonna need is something that will fill in your quick bar or the hot bar at the bottom. So anything that can go inside of your offhand and quick bar, so food, weapons, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a bunch of food items. Uh, it, out in the wild, I'll have an ax, I'll have a sword, I'll have a pickaxe. I'll have different things that can fill in that area, but you do need stuff that can fill that in because as you know, using things like sand shells, wood, stuff like that will not go into that spot and you absolutely need stuff to fill that in. Now, once you have enough stuff to fill in your entire inventory spot and your quick bar, all that you need now is grapplers. You can make grapplers by having copper bar blast powder and cord and if you guys didn't know i posted a video about this showing you how you could essentially have your villagers do all the work for you all that you need is a vines which can be collected by breaking food berries out in the wild and breaking up any bushes that you see outside of that you guys can also use your villagers to collect nearby resources you could also use your uh, villagers to grab copper bars for you and all of them in general will be able to give you vines or cords they'll give you blast powder and they'll give you copper and they'll essentially farm these grapplers for you but obviously that's not the glitch to refresh these up to 30 every single time now the last two things as far as setting this glitch up is to have a bed which is why I mentioned carrying a stack of wood earlier so that you can make a bed no matter where you're at. It takes 10 total wood. The last thing that you need is to assign that bed and then have a way to die. So if you're in your home base, having these large stairs or out in the wild, jumping off of a cliff. Now, just so you guys can see, I have three grapples in my inventory. I also have the stamina bug, which is really annoying, but I'm just gonna waste a few grapples on every single one of these. That way you can see it doesn't just replenish one. It doesn't move charges from one to the other you're actually going to reset all three of these or as many as you possibly have in your inventory if you choose to carry more than three at a time next thing we want to do is drop our entire inventory next to our bed that way it's easier to pick up so anything that's stackable like the wood the food anything that fills up the inventory and the quick bar should be dropped and your grapplers that have been used are going to remain in your inventory or your quick bar at that point it doesn't matter but the next step Step of this is just simply to die which obviously i struggle with because i can't use anything because i don't have any stamina because of the bugs in the game so now what you want to do is you just want to die so if you guys are out in the wild you could do this off of a cave or off of a cliff and i'll demonstrate that later or if you're at their home base you just want to jump off of a staircase or anything like that just to ensure that you die in the game. So when you die, you don't wanna grab your backpack. You're gonna grab all of the food, all of the inventory that you had previously that you dropped near your bed. And again, do not pick up your backpack. You're gonna fill in your quick bar or your offhand, and then we're just going to split our wood up with everything. That way we fill our entire inventory slot up with our wood if you guys are out in the wild this can obviously be anything in the game and once again i'll demonstrate that later on in the video the fastest way to do this is just to start splitting things i believe when you have 50 if you just split that entire first row and part of that second row that'll fill up your entire inventory all the way to its maximum potential so now what we did is we separated our entire inventory we filled in our quick bars and now we're going to open up our backpack which is always going to be next to us because of our bed now you just want to merge that inventory and once you pick up all three of the grapplers or the one grappler that you're going to use what you guys are going to see is now they refreshed all the way back up to 30 and i've effectively cashed in on this glitch now we're out in the wild and when you're out in the wild it is a little bit more difficult to do, some would think, but it's actually really the exact same. What I'm showing you guys here in this, you know, intro example right now is you guys can split anything in your inventory. I mentioned it earlier, but this also means for things that you find out in the wild, you don't need to sit here and split up, you know, just wood. You could split up your iron, you could split up your, your malachite, you could split up your, your uh, sapphire, you could split up your vines. Anything that you have that's stackable that can, you know, 
obviously continue to stack on top of each other until it reaches its max amount can continue to be dropped. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to drop every single thing that is inside of my inventory. I tried to take a look at it. The fastest way is to drag and drop. If you guys are on PC, if you guys are on console, I'm not exactly sure what the easiest way to do this is, but you're going to drop everything out as long as you keep your grapplers in everything else will be dropped out. You also wanna make sure that again, you use some of that wood and you placed that bed down. You also want to make sure that you take all of your charms off. For myself, I use three regeneration charms because that's what the meta is. And if I were to keep those on, I would likely just continue to regenerate while I'm dropping off of this cliff. But also I have way too many hearts to just jump off and single shot die. Now, one of these has 28 charges, one has 12 and one has 30. The way that we do this glitch again out in the wild, because it's the exact same as you would do in your home base, is I'm gonna respawn after dying. I'm gonna pick up every single item that I have and I'm just gonna split them all up and make sure that they obtain every single inventory place of mine. Now, when I'm doing this, what I don't realize is, hey, I have two things in my quick and my hot bar that I don't actually know what I can do with it. I don't know what I can put into my quick bar or my hot bar and I'm kind of panicking a little bit and then I realize, wait a minute, I could just split my food up, dummy. So split your food up and then go through and split every single thing up that's in your inventory. Again, you could drop it as long as it's up to just one, you're fine. You just wanna replace every single one of those empty spots and you guys are okay. Again, remember, I had 12, I had 28, and I had 30. But now that every single inventory spot is completely filled up, if I go and I merge my items and then pick up all of these grapplers, every single one of them, this first one, back up to 30, very easy. This second one, back up to 30. So we already refilled at least one of them, and now we pick up this third one, we have all three of them, back up to 30. So we had 12, 28, and 30. Now we have three of them stacked up to 30 for 90 total charges across the board. Now guys, I know that this isn't the easiest of glitch. It's not as simple as placing a chest, throwing your grappler inside of it and breaking it. This does take a little bit longer, but it does work 100% of the time. And that makes it a lot easier to do this rather than just sitting there and continuing to run around the map or trying to sit there and just waste grapplers and waste all of your material. So try this out. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. And I hope this truly makes your Lego Fortnite gaming experience that much better.